It came as a surprise, absolutely as a surprise. The, the explanation was that health has been spared in the past from cuts, and it's there too. Um, and that to me is an incredibly superficial explanation which doesn't really understand the fabric of what, it, what, what, what they're actually playing with, what they're actually sort of cutting. And it just, uh, to me, it, it, it represented on them potentially not actually taking necessarily the time to consider the implications of what they're doing. So all of a sudden you start depleting the drugs that people are so happy about at the moment. You know, melanoma all of a sudden is treatable. All cancers are treatable. All of these are drugs based on basic discoveries. So the actual ammunition that drives improvement in health in the public would actually be taken away. When the new drugs that need to be discovered to cure the rest of melanoma, for example, is not a particularly good drug for pancreatic cancer, is not a particularly good drug for Alzheimer's disease, and all of these are in the pipeline, all be based on medical research. Every one of them arise because of medical research and the 10 years you put into discovery. So all of a sudden, when these, you know, the fact that these would not be coming through the pipeline, all of a sudden all these patients will be dying. It is part of the Australian culture and we're good at medical research, we're good at supplying evidence-based health. We're incredibly proud of the fact that we punch over our weight in our discoveries, you know, Ian Fraser's vaccine for papillomavirus, Barry Marshall's discovery of uh, H. pylori and all that sort of thing. If you take that research base away from medical training, then all of a sudden the doctors would be more likely to react to your opinion, personal experience, start using things that are expensive but not proven and the whole thing would degenerate very 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 slowly but it would happen and medical research is so important to the identity of Australia and to the well-being of Australia that it is so much core to our to what we are that this is not something that one should consider cutting in fact you should actually invest in it ah well, I, ha I had offered to lie naked in front of the Premier's, uh, Pres uh, uh, Prime Minister's car to, to form for force it, but that was refused. That was uh, for very good reasons. Yeah, our lab's very dependent on funding from the NH and MRC. A $400 million cut, I think that represents 20% over four years, and that means that there's going to be 20% less grants given out. If this institute got 20% less grants, it means that we would shrink. Lots of really important research would stop. It's not like we can just work more cheaply. It literally means that we have to let people go and really important projects would actually just have to come to a halt. So for young scientists it's even more crucial that science is well funded. You know, starting off um, getting postdoctoral fellowships and um, you know, starting off your own research grants is very difficult as it is. Um, and if funding's cut, it's those young scientists that are going to lose out the most because you know those opportunities for um, for people coming up are going to be hurt most significantly. For me, you know, when the time comes to be looking for my own grants, um, it's really important that that money's there. Otherwise, you know, my career might not happen. For me personally, um, I'm expecting my first child, um, and so everything that I'm doing, trying to learn about it, I always look to the medical research, what's been done, um, specifically what's been done in Australia. And every single thing I come up to, it's like, wow, we need more research in that, we need more research in that. And the, like, for me, I'm like, we need more and more and more research. It's so important. Um, the idea of it being cut is just a little bit scary. I actually believe that you know, our responsibility as a, as a nation is to prioritise anything that can alleviate suffering and alleviate sickness. Um, and I really enjoy being able to be part of that in this country and I think it's something that we do really well. Um, I think it's something that we've been really blessed in and um, I just really want to see it increase and expand even more. We can't just um, research cheaper. I mean, the, the government, I think, gets really good value for money from medical research. Wow.